Senator Peter Welch is a Democrat of Vermont. He serves on the Judiciary Committee, called for a code of conduct for Supreme Court justices in the committee's hearing on Tuesday, and he joins me now. Um, Senator, do you think uh, these payments should have been disclosed, and do you think they're appropriate? I think they should have been disclosed, and they're totally inappropriate. Uh, I mean, that was a really uh, damning introduction that you gave. You know, the Supreme Court used to be our most respected institution. Uh, 20 years ago, two-thirds of the American people looked up to it. Today, two-thirds of the people look down on, on it. And the loss of respect for the Supreme Court is really a threat to our democracy. We need a court that has the esteem and respect of the American people. So there's really two issues here. One is, you know, these extraordinary gifts that were given to uh, uh, Justice Thomas. Uh, they're really shocking. But the other shocking thing is the lack of a code of ethics in transparency in the Supreme Court. You know, Chris, we have about 850 judges at the district court and the appellate court level in the in the federal judiciary. All of them would have had to report every single one of those uh, gifts, except for nine. And those nine happen to be on the United States Supreme Court. So I am mystified that the chief justice, who has the custodial responsibility to do everything he can to enhance the reputation and respect for the court, won't step forward and have a code of conduct that applies to those 850 other uh, circuit and, uh, and appellate judges.